Hi guys and welcome to Jabinet Bean tutorial of how to calculate the kinetic energy of a moving object. Let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to reset and let's enter maybe 10 by 5. So the, the map in the kilogram is 10 by the speed in meters per second is 5. That's the velocity. So if we click on kinetic energy that's what we get 125 joules we can also reset or exit out and start a new project so let's start a new project now i'm going to go to file click on new and select java with and java application click on next let's give that a name i'm just going to call it kinetic energy energy that's the name of my project so let's copy that you see where i have create main class i'm going to get rid of that and click on finish the system is there we go let's come right down here and we have my kinetic energy in there let's collapse this one let's go for k there we go that is it right there right click on it new and let's select that will be a uh, J-frame form. Click on that. And let's give that a name. It's going to be known. The class name is Kinetic Energy. And the package name, I'm going to call that Kinetic Energy as well. Let's click on Finish. There we go. Now we have a new app. So, a new form. Right click on this new form. And let's select Set Layout as Absolute Layer. There we go. I'm going to right click on it again let's select the properties i'm now going to increase the size the width and height let's increase the width and height of that to about six or let's say 700 by 500 that's fine and get it centered it's not accepting that okay let's yeah that works okay make sure it's absolutely clear that it's selected that is fine all right okay the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select this panel right there click on that and just paste it right there drag it that much and i'm going to make sure it's still selected let's go to the properties for that panel right here the properties let's look for border click on border and in there i'm going to select line border but in here, I'm going to change the color there to powdered blue, which is 95 by 158 by 160. If you want, you can increase. Let me increase the border style to about the thickness of the border. I'm going to increase it to about 5. There we go. Right. So I'm going to even change it, set the layer to absolute layer as well for that very one. Okay. And let's change the I'm going to change the back color. Let's change the back color. Let's fill that by the same color anyway. That's 95 comma 15 six comma one sixty there we go i'm going to copy this control c copy paste there right now for the this will be for the inner part of it and this will be let's copy another one copy and paste and this will be for the outer here that will be for the button. All right. So well, let's change these two. Let's bring them to the back color. I'm going to change that to something lighter. So I'm going to change the back color to two four. Yeah, two hundred and forty by two hundred and forty. 240 comma 240 comma 240 
there we go and this one as well repeat the same thing for that where is that 240 comma 240 and two right that is that done okay so let's move this up a little bit and this up right up here i'm going to add a label let's grab a label there we go paste that one right there and that label i'm just going to enter how to create kinetic energy and right there guys i just have to speed that up so now the next thing is i'm going to grab another label or i can even copy this very label copy that and just paste it here and the text content on it i'm going to change it to let's change that to mass mass in kilograms there right there copy paste it just copy it again copy it and paste and let's paste it one more time another one here and this last bit i'm going to call it kinetic energy result there we go why this one that will be the speed there i'm now going to add a text field there it's a text field there and let's just copy this cell sweep copy and now let's change the name of this right click and go straight to the properties in there i'm going to call that change that to j mass no let's say txt txt mass now repeat the same thing for this change this to jtxt speed or velocity let's say velocity let's use the right one velocity right and this one is going to be jtxt energy there we go and right underneath here let's add buttons grab that paste it here I have one and I'm going to change the back color to let's come in and just change that to cadet blue as well 95 by 158 by 160 there and let's change the font size to about 24 as well there we go make that bold really bold there and the button that would uh, let me change that to kinetic energy there we go now this very button i'm going to copy it copy paste and paste it one more time and the name of that is going to be btn reset jbtn reset this one is going to be root exit jbtn exit right and click the text content and need is going to be that there okay that is it all done now we need to start work on our code so the first that I'm going to take care of. I'm going to take care of the reset. So right click, go to event, action, and action perform. There we go. And that is the reset procedural area right there. So to clear the system, all you just need to do is to say that is JTXT mass dot that to the set text. and that will be nothing really there we go 
and for the other two you can just enter j txt velocity dot that would be set text and another form is you can just enter no there there we go that's it okay and the last one is called jtxt uh, let's check out the name can't remember the name back here or oh, is energy jtxt energy jtxt energy the set no one as well there that is it done so i want to come in here now uh let's take care of the kinetic energy first right click and let's go to event action and action perform okay right in here the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to declare the following let's say double the very first one is going to be m comma that's for the mass v that would be the velocity and i'm going to say ke okay it will be the kinetic energy where i will store my calculations I believe by now you guys must be aware of the formula to calculate kinetic energy. You can always find that online. I think I have it right here. Let's see, that is it right there. K equals half multiplied by m multiplied by v squared. So to get that, okay, that very formula, I'm now going to implement that in here. So I'm going to say m equals whatever I have in here so I'm going to get the value that I have in here so I'm going to copy that and paste that in here so it changes to get and get rid of this so whatever we have inside here is stored right here okay but we have to change it look at it we ended up with an error why because we have a double here and this is the text so to get that working so first of all i'm going to comment that out in there let's say double dot so that will be pass double and what are we passing double this very content that i have in here that's what i am passing double there let's cover this up and there we go all right let's even see if i can increase this for size of this thing and i'll get back to we'll get back to the programming part of it let's see font yeah that's it right there let's increase it a little bit maybe i'm not eating apply okay all right that's much better come right down here okay whatever is entered in here is now stored in m so let's repeat the same thing for v, v. so i might as well just copy all of this and paste it here that is for v and change that to velocity there we go so when you enter the speed the speed is the velocity is stored inside v variable v now to work that out using the formula that i showed to you guys online that is going to be 0 0.5 multiply that by m multiply by v squared so that means v multiplied by v enter semicolon now we need to assign this into our energy okay jtxt energy so i'm going to copy all of these paste it right down here okay but before we can assign whatever value in here to my result result text box in there i'm going to have to convert this to a string character because only a string character can go into any of the text box so i'm going to say string let's define that string as e 
Okay, E for energy, that's fine. Equals string format dot format. Okay, now what value do you want me to format? So this is the way out. I'm going to say enter a speech mark in there and let's enter percentage dot zero F. So that means there's not going to be any decimal place. And what am I formatting? That's going to be KE. So let's place that right down here. There. Enter semicolon. Well, guess what? I will also want my answer to reflect the unit of measure. So I'm going to say plus the center speech mark Joe's which is the unit of measure for kinetic energy and in here now I can then officially assign E here just come in here let's say EN let's just say energy yeah I want to change this to energy as well copy that and change this to energy there we go there and that's all the history from here down here that is the lines of code that will carry out the calculations. So I'm gonna let's compile that and let's run it and see. And now let's click on run. So enter whatever value you want in there. Uh, coming here, the speed is going to be maybe five. Click on that. There we go. Look at that. So we can reset, but this is not doing anything yet. So let's take care of the exit. And that come right there to design and there guys I, right there guys those are the lines of code that take care of my exit okay as you can see because I want it to just prompt the user to confirm if they want to exit or not so that's why I decided to do it that very way I've always used this method for all my exit and in here you must declare private J frame frame the J frame is just a name given to my to my object right here and this is just an alias okay you then use that with the message box to to prompt the user to confirm if they want to exit if they want to exit and they select yes that will be the system with default back to zero so if I run it and click on that this is what you guys will see enter some value in there there and exit there we go confirm if you want to exit yes I do want to exit run again there and there that's the kinetic energy for this mass and this speed so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel thanks for watching and bye for now